well. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, I have my live studio audience right here. We have a beer. Now, I've reviewed this beer in the past, but I reviewed the beer brewed by Sleeman Brewing here in Ontario. This is Stroh's from the actual U.S. So here, we can buy a 2-4 of Stroh's for $29. Um, I bought this Stroh's in a 12-pack in the U.S. for $6.47. So... What is there to say about it? Not really much. It talks about, uh... Traditionally brewed with the finest hops, pure water, and barley malt. Hmm. The Stroh's Brewing Company, P.O. Box 739, Milwaukee. Oh, they don't even give you their, uh, address. Why would they want to give you your, their address? Uh, I believe it's Pabst that uh, owns these guys. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of remember uh, the riot telling me that it was, was Pabst. America's premium, premium brewed beer. There's no other premium brewed beer in America? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, Joe's going on a tirade over here. I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but we'll read it in a few minutes, won't we? Hope that wasn't somebody trying to come into my house because I'm sitting down here with no pants or underwear on. Anyway, there's the beer. Super golden, big pillowy white head. Um, just like a normal, just like buying a blue whale pillow from Walmart. It looks big and fluffy and pillowy, but it goes down to nothing pretty quickly. I mean, look at that. It was off the top of the cup. It's still going down. Uh, I bet you there's a lot of propylene glycol in this to make that head stick around. Mmm, doesn't that smell beautiful? This is a can beer. This is a beer you want to drink out of the can. I'm smelling, I'm smelling corn. I'm smelling a lot of corn. I'm smelling straw, wet straw, almost like a barn, and uh, chemicals. Uh, you do get that kind of smell that you would get from passing by a regional brewery. You are getting that uh, that corn syrup-like scent, and I'm imagining this gross, tarry liquid dropping into the tanks. But uh, yeah, let's try it. Cheers, boys and girls. Cheers, boys and squirrels. Oh, that's amazing. This is better than Firestone Walker's Parabola. Okay, I'm just fucking kidding. This is garbage. Um, I shouldn't really say garbage. It's, uh, it's kind of nothing. It's kind of sweet water. Carbonation isn't that much. Kind of takes, tastes like you took a light beer and uh, threw more water in it. In all honesty, it it's, there's nothing to it. There really is not anything to this. It's sweet. It has a little bit of a bitterness on the background. In all honesty, for just a beer to drink... At 6.47, a 12-pack, it, it's you can't complain about it. I can't complain about it. Somebody can complain about it. I mean, I love craft beer. I'm a big craft beer supporter. 
but sometimes you don't have the money for a craft beer or you're going somewhere where you can, can't keep the temperature right or you're going to have to just drink it out of a can because you're camping and you don't have a glass with you or lots of different variables. This isn't bad for a slumming it beer. Uh, I did not really like the Canadian version all that much to tell you the truth, but this tastes just like your average American swill beer. Uh, your average American golden adjunct lager. Again, sweet water. Sweet water is all it is. The little bit of a burn on the background. I can't, I can't give it any less than a five. I can't give it any more than a five, but I can't give it any less than a five. I mean, for what it is, it, it works. Now, if this was a uh, $28 12 pack or something like that, it would get a lot less. But I can't, I can't take anything away from it. Other than the fact that you know it's not made with real finest ingredients, like it says on the can. Anyway, guys, how does it chug? Let's find out. Cheers. Well, you know what? It does chug better than Firestone Walker Parabola. I guess that's a point. Doesn't burp as good, though. Bye.